All right, this is the cheapest Surface Laptop ever, the Surface Laptop SE, a laptop currently just sold to schools, but hopefully that'll change because it is rad. We've got seven items to cover, so let's go over the raw stats. First, let's talk about pricing. The Surface Laptop SE is a minimalist school laptop with specs that aren't amazing, but with an amazing price, $250, which is cheaper than the cheapest iPad, and it's perfect for low-income families if only individuals could buy them. Let's keep going. For sizing, the laptop has an 11.6 inch screen with a reasonable resolution and a unique plastic build. So it's small and plastic, but that might actually be acceptable for students, especially if you travel a lot, because you would probably prefer a smaller, lighter laptop. And one thing you'll definitely prefer, whether you travel a lot or not, is good connectivity. And this laptop is great for the price. Even Apple, with its most expensive iPads, can't compete. One USB-A, one USB-C, a charging port, and a headphone jack. Let's keep going. For internal specs, okay, this is where things get a little dodgy. Remember, this is $250, so Corners have to be cut. This is especially the case with the processor. It can run light games such as Minecraft, but don't expect it to run more demanding ones if its operating system even supports them. More on that later. And here are the benchmarks. And now for storage, the laptop is fine. Some of it is taken up by the operating system, so if that is an issue for you, you can get an external SSD or a flash drive. And now for battery life, Microsoft claims up to 16 hours, so I'd say at least 12 hours of actual juice, which is great. You can get all your work done and not have to worry about charging for an entire day. Good stuff. This can probably be chalked up to the version of Windows that this laptop is running called Windows 11 SE, or Student Edition, which unfortunately for us, but fortunately for the schools, can be restricted by your admins to only run certain programs. So with that said, let's see if this laptop is worth buying. So first, can you even buy this laptop? Well, Microsoft has it so only educational institutions can purchase this laptop. However, I have found a few websites in which you possibly could purchase it as an individual, but no promises. This is definitely the most frustrating part of my research, but I have a solution. If you cannot buy the Surface Laptop SE, here are some great alternatives. You came all this way in the video, I'm not wasting your time. If you want a buyer's guide on these laptops, leave a comment down below. But is this laptop worth it, given that there are many other options at the same price? Well, for schools on a tight budget, yeah, I'd say it's worth it. It allows access to the Microsoft ecosystem and it doesn't break the bank. Many comparable cheap laptops are either Chromebooks or they don't have that Surface quality. However, do you need more than the Microsoft ecosystem? For instance, do you need to use CAD? If that's the case, you probably should look elsewhere because this laptop might not be able to run it. And on that same note, make sure this laptop can run every application that you want it to, because Windows 11 SE might be a little more limiting than you think compared to the full Windows 11. But ultimately, all of this is your decision based on your preferences. Don't just watch my video on this. I've linked many more down in the description to view at your discretion. My name is Cyrus. It's spelled like Cyrus, pronounced like Cyrooster. Just take out the tur. Thank you very much for watching. Good luck with your purchase and have a wonderful day.